Hey everyone, I want to give you a quick content warning for dismemberment and drug use. It happens rather early in the episode, so if you would like to skip uh, about 15 minutes in, uh, that should get you past it. But without further ado, here is episode 2 of The Eye of the Tyrant. Welcome to episode 2 of The Eye of the Tyrant. When we last left off... Vesper was introduced to prison life and what it means to be a resident aboard the Eye of the Tyrant. Uh, while there, she made several new friends uh, who, you know, she might not view them as friends yet, but uh, once somebody picks you, you know, kind of stuck with them. But anyway, uh, she finished up her first day without any incident, avoided conflict by running as fast as she could from it. And um, the next day, well, started off not so great. Vesper, I'm going to need you to make a level five might roll for me. This is to see if you can stay conscious over the next few minutes of whatever is going to happen. Uh, helps if I have roll 20 open so I can see your rolls. <laughs> I bit. do now, so we're good. Um, I'm just gonna, yep, yeah, we'll just let it go. Failure. So, from your perspective, this is what you see. You look around you as you wake up in a cold and sterile room with a bright, buzzing light and the smell of antiseptic. How you got here... And what you can remember is fuzzy. It's not really hard to, to nail down the exact sequence of events, but it went something like this. Uh, the ringing in your ears, the flash of pain, and the horrified look on everyone's face. The guards burst in, dropping everyone to the floor. You hear as a few guards... Uh, tie something around your arm and you feel cold. Uh, priority prisoner secured. Heading to the Med Wing now. One says over the radio just before you lost total consciousness and the world went black. Now, for everybody else, this is a pretty quick situation. Samuel, you have to keep your cover. Mm -hmm. as a guard. What do yeah. you do in this moment as the alarm is sounded and the guards begin to rush into the room? I... I think I would just... Oh, let's see. If they're coming in and, like, hitting the other prisoners with like rubber bullets or a baton or something. I think I would let them do that and be more of a first aid and, and, and response to the, uh, to the injury of the person I was supposed to be watching over. Yeah. Go ahead and uh, make a, this is going to be an intellect check for you, uh, but essentially is you performing some quick rudimentary first aid on our friend Vesper. Right. I don't have anything super fancy about that. Maybe, um... Oh yeah, it's fine. Any DC? Uh, DC for this is just going to be a, uh, a, a... A three. You have assistance, essentially, from the other guards at the moment. Oh, great. Just... Fantastic. You were able to help uh, to stop the bleeding, but it is a grisly sight... Bra oh, sorry, Seer, Egg. As soon as the guards come bursting in, uh, it seemed everybody that you were 
having conflict with, uh, lost their nerve. Everybody has dropped to the ground. What would you like to do in this situation? Yeah, uh, I think Seer is going to single out the guy that seems to be leading the pack. Do we have a name for him? Have we gotten uh, a name for him? I can have a name for him. His name's Hibalt. Hibalt. So Hibalt has atta- menaced us multiple times. I killed one of his friends in front of him, and he still came back for us. So Sears out of mercy. So in the few seconds that we have before the guards come in, Sears just going to flop down on the ground, hands behind his head, look up at Hibalt, and just give him just this stare and just try to vaporize his mind. All right. Uh, definitely... Um... Go yeah, so that's that's just an onslaught mental or physical, uh, I would assume does more damage that way. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh you throw him against the wall using your mind. He hits his head and uh a pool of crimson liquid begins to spread across the floor. The guards come bursting in, and they are all brandishing rifles as they throw in smoke grenades, and the atmosphere begins to get quite a bit um, less breathable. Uh, This is fine for Samuel. Samuel, you have a mask that is always available to you um, with your uniform, and you throw it on. As the other hooligans the rival prison yeah. gang looks around uh absolute terror and tears in their eyes from the 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 gas um you are all pulled out and kind of put out into the hallway uh vesper you are whisked away to somewhere as you fade completely out of consciousness Samuel with her? you are going with her okay um with the rest of the guards uh as somebody turns to you uh, a superior officer uh that you would recognize uh he looks at you and he goes I'm going to need a report on what happened here this is unacceptable. She was your charge. Will do. Uh, that yeah. superior officer's name was Jean, uh, but not John. Like Jean, like J H A A N Jean. French. Uh, yeah, this is French Jean. Yeah. <laughs> and eventually, you, Sear and Egg, are taken to your quarters um and to your quarters you stay for a while it's been sorry there's a song going through my head it's been a week uh Mm. since you talked to vesper um (laughs) tear gas was so strong it's been one week since we looked at anybody yeah <laughs> my brain it, it thinks in songs so you it's hear it, it's uh, anytime anyone says it's been yeah it just 100%. You, go to it. you always go to that song <laughs> you, you, you got it you got it like been if you give any days. moment to think the brain just naturally jumps to it you have to be just like you really do you have sentence. to you have to you have to finish that sentence out um <laughs> but your meals have been delivered to you um there has been no community time no work time uh vesper as you wake up in this very uninviting hospital room uh what do you do um i think i would immediately try and sit up it is Painful. I need you to make a might check for me. This is going to be a difficulty for uh, basically you fighting against that pain in order to uh, right yourself. 14. Successful. You are able to kind of lift yourself up. Uh, there's no one else in this room. 
though there are other beds um, neatly made. Uh, you put your left arm down and go to lift, and then you go to lift with your right arm and slump for a second. Uh, it's at that moment that you look down and you see the most rinky-dinky, cheap uh, mechanical prosthetic replacing up to your shoulder. Um, it's strange uh, because you can almost feel it. But it functions. It moves the way you want it to move. Your hand opens and closes. It seems like it will be usable for you. Um, it's just, if you were out in the world and you had access to the resources that you normally have access to, um, it probably wouldn't be the model you would have picked. Uh, but such is the medical care in the most high security prison in the galaxy. Uh, PK. Mm -hmm. Over this past week, what have you been doing? What, what has PK been planning for? For Samuel? Who's PK? Sorry, Samuel. Samuel. <laughs> hey, I've been making plans for Samuel. Um, I think I would be monitoring the strength of the solar flares that have been going on around us and in the system itself to see a pattern of them and understanding the intensity of it. Um, yeah. I would be checking in and making sure that Vesper is doing well. I would be checking in with... I'd be giving those updates to Brayden and Egg as far as things went on. And I'd be looking for a way for us to... Uh, who's to Brayden? Uh, Egg and Seer. My apologies. <laughs> all, we're all over the place, guys. Um, and yeah, I would I would then be looking for a way um, <clears throat> potentially to get Egg and Seer into a, a, a cargo like loading duty, um, a shifting duty of goods around, as well as looking for ways to protect ourselves from solar flares and such if we need to leave any yeah. during high intensity. For this, I'm going so to need you to make a couple of different checks. Um, right. So first one is going to be an intellect check that is you kind of learning about these um, solar flares. Uh, mm -hmm. Understanding. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Which is um, something that I have that I can get bonuses to it so you're 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 using the computer you're trying to understand the um information on the screen and what it is showing you um so i'm going that's going to uh definitely give you a um asset to your role uh yeah. it's going to be a difficulty five to kind of piece together all the information about these solar flares. You're you're not a scientist and really yeah. the closest person you know to be qualified for something like that would probably be Vesper, uh, who is currently in a medically induced coma. Alright, so we've got challenge rating 5. A, I'm going to do an effort on the roll. I also get the asset from the uh, understanding ability is that I still fail. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. It's it's strange. Uh, it seems from what you can tell, um, because of the amount of effort and stuff you threw into that. I am going to give you some information. Mm -hmm. Um but not the res resolution of it, if that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, you 
see that these are increasing in their intensity. Uh, the sun seems to be uh, ejecting quite a bit of mass and coronal, uh, uh, well, coronal masses off of its surface. Mm -hmm. uh, these solar flares seem to be ruining communication, not just with the station and beyond, but even communications at times within the station itself from one sector to another. Uh, they've had to kind of resort to using some of the older wired communication methods uh, as opposed to using the typical uh, wireless communication methods. Okay. Uh, for the trying to put egg and sear on another uh, duty, for that, mm -hmm. that is going to be more of a persuasion type role. Okay, I'm... Um, you're good at that. So, you can definitely use influencing minds, I would say. Yeah, that may be positive social interactions, both of which are just a brain skill. Yep. Uh, yeah. I would say influencing minds is going to be a little bit better, because you typically already have pretty positive social interactions with the other guards around you. Yeah. Um, but in this situation, you're trying to convince them to not only put two prisoners on uh, more cozy detail. Uh, but two prisoners that were involved in an incident that led to um, the dismemberment of a important prisoner. Oopsie. <laughs> yeah, and I think I've got this ability called Spin Identity, which I can convince someone that I'm kind of just from certain thing. So I might, might go up to the docks and use kind of that spin idea to me in saying, like, with that lack of communication and the um, potential trouble maybe verifying, I would say I'm from a different sector saying that these guys have been assigned duty and probably try and lie a little bit that way as well. And, um, like, I just, uh, your commander sent me uh, to put these two guys on this work duty over here mm -hmm. and lie a bit about that as well if I can. Absolutely. Um, so. Samuel, the commanding officer, Jean, uh, sits you down in his office and uh, goes, what the hell happened out there? Uh, my understanding is that um, Esper made friends with a a few other prisoners on our first day. Those prisoners, uh, Egg and Seer, had uh, had trouble uh, interactions with with a different gang within the prison, and Vesper became intertwined in that whole controversy and problem. Kind of got caught in the middle of it all when that gang attacked Egg and Seer inside the workroom. The improper shutdown and quick evacuation of the workroom by all other parties besides that gang built to a pressure buildup in some of the machinery, which caused uh, an explosive uh, decompression, not decompression, explosive event, um, blasting Vesper into some machinery that then fell and crushed her arm. This looks quite terrible. Uh, we are attempting to conceal as much information from her parents as possible. Um, Why would they get any information anyway? Why are we sending them any updates? Her, she is a senator's daughter. She may be here for the rest of her known life, but... They do have a vested interest in how she's treated in here. Is she, like, being held hostage so that they'll... so the senators will vote properly or something? What's going on? No, her being here is their wish. Uh, originally, the judge, apparently, and he kind of flips through some uh, pages on his uh, data pad, 
swiping through and he goes uh, the judge had recommended a much lighter sentence uh, but her father said it would look too much like special treatment if she were to yeah. get off with a slap on the wrist and her crime was uh, trespassing on a uh, embargoed planet quarantine yes quarantine uh, yeah between you and me, it's... Yeah. Well, there was a rebel stronghold somewhere on the planet. It seems to be wrong time, wrong place. Um, but I have orders to follow, and that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to follow my orders, and I'm going to do everything I can to keep this prisoner alive. Yeah, um... Speaking of orders here, uh, I, I get a few, I hand him a few pieces of paper, and it's like I've got transfer orders uh, that I need you to sign off on for both Egg and Seer. I want them to start to separate them from that other gang that they were fighting with. I want them to start working on uh, the load and unload docks just to keep them away from that other gang. Do you think we could do that? Yeah, so go ahead and make <laughs> your roll for this. Uh, it is going to be uh, the Influencing Minds or um, right. probably Influencing li- uh, Minds is the, the best one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, and this is going to be a difficulty four. Uh, oh. It is doable. I'm slightly trained. We've got four. I'm going to expend an effort. spending two points of my intellect. To reduce the DC by one, um, I believe is that. Boom. And successful. Fantastic. Love that. Uh, I'm just uh, now remembering I didn't t- give you guys experience at the end of last session, so I'm adding to your experience pools. Oh, um, lovely. So. Thank Great. you. Got yeah. some XP. You know. I, I didn't get any because my arm didn't get cut. Vesper, you have too much XP. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just so you know, Vesper, you can only have two more XP before you have to start spending it. Okay. I forgot how to spend it, so I'll no, have to go over that later. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll definitely go over that over, over break. Absolutely. Um, yeah, when do I get more XP? Is it every time uh, you fail? Is it every time I... So natural oh, ones yeah. is what we're going to do. Um, okay. And we're also going to do, uh, obviously, GM intrusions. That's the typical time that it's going to happen. Um, mm-hmm. And then uh, natural 20s. So if you roll well, I'm going to reward you. Okay. Perfect. Uh, for those listening at home, these are home through rolls to make sure that, like, rules uh, to make sure that, you know, things are moving along at a fun and an enjoyable pace for the players. Uh, and they can get all their cool stuff. As they level up. He looks at the request papers, looks up at you. He seems kind of suspicious, but also at the same time um, goes, and these are the two that uh, seem to be keeping an eye out for Vesper. Yeah, they all, I think they kind of started their own gang together, the three of them. And I guess right. I'm the gang's manager as their supervisory guard. Interesting. Uh, yeah. I don't like it. It's not good for optics for the rest of the prison. But in order to keep us employed and uh, not as residents of this prison instead, I'm going to allow this. Uh, you can, uh, starting next week, begin to take this egg and sear onto uh, more isolated duties. Uh, bring Vesper with like I'm trying them to... as well. Yeah. I mean, it's not like I'm trying to get him a job in the library or anything. <laughs> They're still going to be doing hard work. Uh funny and we get requests yeah. for the library often yeah people asking them like oh yeah yeah we'll put you on the list for the library yes 
Well, back to your duties. All right, boss. I'll uh, see you in a bit. I'll see you around. I'll uh, you'll see. You'll get the update tonight with the paperwork and everything when I turn it during my forms. All right. Um, you have a good one. Fantastic. And I stand up, grabbing the papers, the transporters and whatnot, work orders, and walk out of the office. All right. Um, as you do, you get a uh, slight buzz from your communicator, uh, informing you that the mm, uh, priority prisoner has awakened. Hmm. Okay. I will uh, head that way relatively quickly, unless, well, maybe I'll stop by Seer and Egg first, if I can, just on the way. Yeah. For for a quick chat. Yep. Um, and I'll. I'll very good. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, I'll I'll go up into there. Go up to their. Uh, I was gonna say dorm, but <laughs> it's their cell. <laughs> That's a nice way of putting it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I see. Uh, I see Egg picking his nose over there, and I knock on the door. You think they'll put us on library duty? <laughs> I can only hope. <laughs> knock, knock, knock. Hey guys. Um, new orders for you. To avoid any further problems with other prisoners, you have been uh, assigned duty on the docks, loading and unloading ships. Uh, it's usually a smaller team that has to do that. So it'll be you, me, you two, me, and Vesper. How ah. serendipitous. And uh, Vesper's just woken up, so here's the transfer order. And I get in, I go step into the cells at this point. And get close to hand them the papers, and in my lower voice, now that we're closer together and such, I say, "So those plates that we were work- that we were made in the machine shop are going to be loaded up onto these ships. You need to find time to sneak some uh, some of those panels out of the boxes and line them around the AI core of the ship of the ship that we're going to be stealing, as well as the reactor core, so that they're both protected from." solar flare activity it's going to be very important for us to escape because this sun is not calming down anytime soon um, my understanding of in general is like it, this can go on for months and maybe a year I think last I looked at the computer there was like a record of like so strong solar flare activity like maybe 15 years ago it went on for like 8 months so it could be a while so we'll need that protection on the ship and... very good Samuel, you're an absolute genius. Oh. I knew it was excellent to have the foresight to buff a perfect shine into those plates. Yeah, I think the blood <laughs> from our friend is really going to add to the protective of capabilities of it. You think? Has there been any word regarding the oracle we found in the prison? Any sign of movement from the staff? I think I, I would have probably looked into it a little bit yeah. what do i know what do i know um you filed your report your report um and you haven't seen winless since um there's been no really official record of his movement uh to from one place to the other um mm-hmm. it's it's kind of odd really um People don't really disappear here uh, unless, well, yeah. some people do, but typically you would know about it uh, and you would know why. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. so. I'll let you know. Um, about uh, when I returned to my report the next day, he was taken out of the gen pop. So um, beyond that, I haven't heard anything else. I feel like that uh, um, has been taken care of. Yes. Please tell Winnebago his friends are waiting for him. Okay, for sure. Um, yes. Well, just came over to drop off these orders and the papers. Uh, I'm going to go. Uh, I just got word that Vesper's woken up. so you know, check Samuel, on I hate to put any more burden upon you, mm-hmm. but there is one thing I would like to ascertain before we leave this place. I must find my body. It has been taken from me, and I do not know if it is being held... Upon this station, or elsewhere. Your body. You... Yes. The... 
What am I looking at right now, then? You are <laughs> seeing a shell of Seer. But Seer is more than just a flesh and blood person. Seer is made up of a regalia. A piece of powered armor. So advanced, no one else in the Imperium could hope to duplicate it. It was taken from me when I was put into prison. I have been without my body since. I would happily leave this station behind if I knew that my regalia, my body, was not present. But I must find out where it is first. Ah, uh, okay. So this is like your Templar armor that got taken when you were arrested, I guess? Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. This is a much more simple way of saying it, yeah. yeah um, <laughs> I get it. You're a clam! You didn't tell me you were like a clam. <laughs> I suppose I am like a clam. This soft and vulnerable flesh is not me. I am a me fusion of man and metal. Me and Gamma Crash used to dig them up from the beach and steam them and crack them open. You add a little salt and a little pepper, you got yourself something delicious. I never knew you were so delicious, here. Always have new surprises. Thank you. <laughs> well, um, Seer, I'll try and find your armor, but in the meantime, don't let Egg lick you or apply salt on you. Um, Would it surprise you if I said too late on either count? It wouldn't surprise me at <laughs> all, actually. That was one time! <laughs> I, I believe it 100%. <laughs> um, well then... Good luck with that problem. <laughs> I will look into finding out what happened to your body, and I also uh, will go check on Vesper. Um, Samuel, I just want you to know you have thoroughly impressed me with your conduct, your subterfuge, and your ability to speak. I look forward to further interactions with you. My full faith is in your abilities. Our full faith is. Right, Seer? Indeed. Don't get caught. Well, I haven't yet, and I've done crazier stuff than this, so let's go. Oh. Uh, as Samuel leaves you, Egg and Seer, what are you doing in your... Did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> crazier stuff than this? I wonder what sort of shenanigans he's gotten into. Yes, most likely he's the type of person that I would have been ringing in in a different life. I have to say, if all we had to do to get time sequestered away from the general populace and get our meals delivered to us was getting people killed horribly, I would have started doing that ages ago. <laughs> that's, well, that's not part of the crash race here, but I fully trust you. After all, you're the other brains of this operation. Well, the brains would be nothing without the heart to power them. You are very clearly the heart, given that you have one. You you don't have a heart either? So you're like a... A, a clam! Yes, Clamps we've discussed this. <laughs> Clams don't have any circulatory <laughs> system whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. That's that's a thing. <laughs> we're, we're learning so much about Seer <laughs> and his native life in the ocean. <laughs> you know, Seer, I remember one day I was walking with Sigma Crash under the sea through broken fields, <laughs> torn asunder by our explosive effort, filled with dropping Imperial ships, and all I could think to myself was, "I wonder who's underneath." That skin. Sigma crash. That's all I think about people, you know? What's the best part of them? And now you're telling me you're a shell, and I haven't even seen the best part of you? It's so exciting! Yes, the... person you've been interacting with thus far is very much like the scared boy that once came to the Templars. A weak thing yet to be molded into true form. The armor was what made me, me. It is as part of me as any other organ. But wouldn't the armor be like a shell? The armor is 
more important than that. In a way, it feels oh. more like myself than this does. It's like an exoskeleton. Like an ant. You're an ant. I've got it. <laughs> yes, I'm an ant. And a clam. And the brains. You say you're more of a, a hive or a hill type of, type of creature. It's a fair question. Wasps. Ants are technically wasps. Yeah, no, that that, yes. that actually ants tracks. Ants are technically wasps when you think about it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think Seer just goes and lays back down on the bed and he's just like, all right, it was fun while it lasted. I need to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Alpha Crash used to say that when insects bond together, they can create, and, and he trails on you. You can go to the next And thing. I make it to the hospital room. <laughs> <laughs> and as you do, uh, you enter into this uh, rarely used, uh, but readily stocked hospital room uh, to see as Vesper has... Uh, slowly begun to pick herself up and sit up in the bed. And we just lost PK again. We just lost PK. Damn it. I have to remember that I put myself on push to talk for this. We just lost PK. <laughs> push to talk is so useful sometimes because like, I will break out into song um, way too often. Yeah. Okay. We just lost I'm PK. Back. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. Okay. So. As you enter into the seldom used but well-stocked medical room, uh, you see as Vesper begins to slowly lift herself up uh, awake and uh, examining her new addition uh, and subtraction uh, (laughs) to her form. Just slowly looking at it. And thinking, fuck, this is not what I'm used to, and I hope I can get some better movement into it. Well, I'll walk in and see her examining the arm and be like, oh wow, I gave you that piece of crap. I like the uh, mad cat's arm. <laughs> the mad cat's arm. <laughs> Their turbo button. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I look at it and, uh, yeah. I've seen a, seen a few of those before. Kind of janky. Thumb Not sticks a lot. Brilliant. Yeah. Great. How's, how are you uh, feeling? How's the um? Pain. Just yep. Okay. Um. Well, Egg and Seer are doing okay. They've been pretty much kept in their room. Uh. Grounded. Yeah, they've been grounded. <laughs> Um, and, uh, but we're working on a plan and it's coming up. I don't think we're going to be able to get you out of here on medical leave, considering how you lost an arm and they didn't evacuate you. This would have been a good time for it. (laughs) It really was. It would have been. It's true. But we've got another plan. Um, you have been reassigned to loading duty. Um... Uh, Loading and unloading crates on the ship Uh, with your arm. Obviously, you might just be the one working the forklift, maybe, at that point. But um, Is Vesper forklift certified? You said this thing gets jammed, and you want to put me on a forklift and (laughs) potentially just... And as she says that, her arm gets jammed, and she goes... (laughs) Well, yeah, um... It's only I was, prison. You're right about that. Yeah, that's a good point. I was thinking with just the other arm, the, the still human one you could drive, but it does put a risk that I didn't consider. Um, either way, I've got Seer and Egg loading up supplies needed for an escape on a ship. And over the next few weeks, we're going to outfit a ship during our work schedules. And weeks? I thought you said it was only going to be a week. Yeah, over the next week or so. I mean, we gotta we have to prepare this ship. I'm not. I, just trust me on it. It'll be okay. We'll be getting out of here. It's taking a little longer than I thought. Um, 
breaking out of the maximum, sec most secure prison in the galaxy is a challenge. And it's a new one for me. I'm usually more getting into places. Um, so, just work with me and we'll figure this out. So, and we'll get you a better arm. <laughs> that would be brilliant. Um, so what am I doing? Um, I want you... You're a, you study, right? You're a you're a scholar. Archaeologist. Okay. I need you. I don't know what I can do with an archaeologist at the moment. You know what? Give me a few minutes and I'll think about it. But I believe. Brutal. The, no, there's. I need. You know, for someone who is meant to like break me out? You really don't know too much about me, do you? I know who I'm supposed to get. I don't know very okay. much about you, though. I gave, I got my orders, and I... I followed them. In the meantime, though, um... <clears throat> I want you to read up on solar flare activity and do research into that and the effects that it can have. In the prison that we don't have a library in? Yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm there is library help, duty. But you are giving me the most difficult task, especially when there is no place where I can actually do any sort of research. I would love to, because that is something mm -hmm. I'm very good at. But So here's, here's the thing. Uh, Samuel, you know... Yeah. that it's more likely that you guys would be able to find out information while on these duties. Mm -hmm. um, just because it's typically a place where, you know, prisoners aren't as often, and it's typically more crew people. Uh, it's a very special detail to be helping with unloading and loading. Um, so, you know, the right person looks away for long enough, you could definitely have her kind of do some yes. research. Yeah, these um uh on on these ships, on these transport ships, they do have a general uh connection and downloaded like a log. A log, uh, almost a downloaded encyclopedia on their computer sure. cores. Yeah, that I can. you might be able to read from and well it would be difficult to actually access it and everything like that us being in proximity to the ship should give us enough opportunities that you can find useful information okay i can do that yeah so we just need to get in there and as long as you don't put me on a forklift <laughs> okay we'll have seer do the forklift that'll be like that's probably the smarter option yeah that'll be like a thing you can supervise and we'll just make Egg carry things. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> um, I can't imagine I can be lifting anything anytime soon with the pain anyway. Mm -hmm. well, um, well, I'll come back for you in a couple days to start this detail. We don't start it for... Come back? I have to stay here? Uh, well, I don't know. I kind of thought you would. You said you were in pain. So I yes, I'm in pain. But there's nothing to do here. You want me to sit here for two days? I don't know. Doc, when can she go? Uh, the doctor uh, comes in from the office. Uh, oh, <clears throat> um, well. Um, she is nearly healed up. Uh, just is going she's going to need to do a few hand eye coordination tests with the new prosthetic um but that's um physical therapy that can be done in her own cell um she should be fine to go uh, the week that she's been in this medically induced coma uh, week oh yes um yeah you've been out for a week it's been a week for you 
Um, it, it, we find it helps the with place. the nerve attachments and your body getting used to the idea of having this prosthetic when you don't actually have to be conscious for it. If that makes sense. He's saying that when you're asleep, I, your body I, doesn't I, reject I it. Under, I understand. Okay, cool. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I know, I know. with Sorry. your meal, make sure you have them uh, give you... Uh, and uh, he looks through his paperwork. Uh, Compound 7 is a painkiller... Uh, should help. Hmm. So, hopefully. Seven. Am I familiar with this painkiller? <laughs> uh, go ahead and roll a intellect check for me. Difficulty. Uh, difficulty for this is going to be a five. It's a it's a heavy one. Uh, we're going to use an effort. No. You have never heard of this painkiller. Uh, PK, if mm. you would like, you could definitely make the same check, but at a lower difficulty. Yeah, um, sure. What is it? What was the, what was the check there? Uh, the it's an intellect check, and it was uh, difficulty five, so it's going to be a difficulty three for you. Okay. Because I have the chart. I'm going to expend an effort as well. That's right, you are. I did it. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm glad I spent that effort, too. You know that uh, most of the pharmaceuticals uh, that go to market typically end up tested at one place or another, but usually it's going to be tested here. Um, it's experimental. And... You know, they wouldn't give her anything that would cause permanent damage, so you know that much. They do care that she sticks around and has as long and happy of a life within this prison as possible. Um, so that's good news. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll just kind of... As far as I... I, I think I just kind of... I don't say much to it at all as far as... Yeah, it's it's the doctor's orders to give it to her. If I'm like, yeah, I mean, if I don't think it's bad, right, to the to some degree. Yeah, you have no reason to think that yeah. it would be negative in any way. Just because, like I said, they have a vested interest in keeping Vesper here until old age. Mm -hmm. I think I'm might generally warn against taking experimental painkillers. Just as uh, I think I'd say. Um, yeah, uh, I've seen a few other painkillers based off of this kind of same uh, chemical makeup, and they're they're dangerous. Um, I saw a lot of friends get lost to them. So if you can stand the pain, maybe just take the pain and not the painkillers. But at the same time, I don't. I'm not going to tell you to just suffer. So, All the trigger warnings that I'm going to have to add to these episodes. <laughs> <laughs> From random <Hey>. injections. <laughs> random. Literally. <laughs> my own thoughts. I'm just like, hey. <laughs> uh. And I mean, it, Samuel's backstory, he definitely has seen some people get way too addicted to stuff. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Uh, the places you've hung out, um, you know, it's... Anyway, yeah. As you, uh, that was a horrible place to get frozen, Brayden. It was something like this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> looked like uh, you were having an oracle vision as well. <laughs> no. uh, PK, as or Samuel, as you leave, you kind of head down the hallway and you hear a tink, 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 tink. 
Mm. Uh, as you pass by a room, and you see Windless poking his little eyes through like uh, the slot up at the top. Okay. Uh, uh, it's trying Windless. to get your attention. Windless? I can hear you. What? They can, can hear me? I can hear you. You can't hear me, okay. Uh, I Can I open the door? Can I get in there? Is it... Uh, yeah, go ahead and, uh, you know, check, see what you got. See if you're, you could see if your key card would work for it. Yeah. Um, I'll try and talk to him, see what's up. Yeah. Hold on, just like I'm about to sneeze. Think is it. <laughs> it's three in a row. Oh, four. Okay. We're good. Um, <laughs> you check your key card. Um, and it does seem that this uh, room has some sort of restricted access. Mm. Uh, it is higher clearance uh, than you have at the moment. Can I? Is there just like a? Is there just like a, a speaker that I could speak through to him at all? Or um, yes, we'll say there is a okay. little intercom. I'll activate the speaker and be like, hey. Winless. Oh, oh, thank goodness. I haven't spoken to anyone in a week, Samuel. Ah, uh, got you in isolation. Yeah. What's the deal with uh, being an oracle? Uh, well, unfortunately, that information slipped out. Um, I mean, yeah, I told everyone. Yes. Uh, and now the brass are quite interested in my abilities as well. And they don't seem to understand that if it's not something I haven't, if it's not something I'm going to witness, I, I can't, I can't see it. I had well, one guard literally ask me what the galactic lottery numbers were going to be. And, of course, I just gave him some numbers, because fuck that guy, but... Yeah. Fair enough. I... Is Vesper okay? Uh, she lost an arm. She's in a lot of pain. Um, another gang leader, I think he's dead. He got slammed up against the wall by, I think, Egg's mind powers. <laughs> and... Um, then, yeah. So wait, you can see the future if you're going to be present for the event itself. I can only see things that future me will see. Okay. Well, don't tell the Empire that, because then they'll just drag you around to places where they want to know the future. I did not even consider that possibility. Yeah, so you should uh. stick with me. Oh, the worst. So they would just have safe. me next to the Emperor at all times. Yeah. Do you think they would treat me well? Eh, depends on if you tell them stuff they want to hear or not. <laughs> I assume that if they, if you predict doom, they'll kill you in an attempt to prevent it. That's, because oh, because if I don't be see it, then maybe... That is an interesting line of thought. Yeah. I've never really talked to anyone about this before, so this is uh, n new because, to me. Yeah, if, they, if you predict a doom, but then you die before it happens, you technically weren't going to be there for it. But you were. You know... Well, you better keep me alive then, because I see you escape. Okay. Then I'll keep you around and alive, and... Maybe we'll have conversations with Seer about the confusing nature of your effect on causality in this universe. Because this is yes. strange to me. And he had said something about that when he discovered you were an oracle. Oh. he's a Templar. Yeah, uh, th I, this I know. There's a reason... <laughs> motherfucker sitting here being like you gotta you gotta stick with me i'll keep you safe you're the one that threw up the gestapo 
<laughs> hey, I just did what you told me to. I have no, I have never Absolutely. encountered any Absolutely. oracle thing at all. <laughs> but now I'm like, oh, if you're gonna be a, so if you stick with me, then I'll know my future. So I want you around. <laughs> Like I'm completely, I completely told him what other people would use him for, and then in the same breath was like, "So let me you use that. Let me use you that way." It's all, it's all. Yeah, I'm not being nice to this guy at the moment. I'm definitely trying to get take advantage of him. Beautiful. <laughs> this poor 21 year old winless. He only has one friend here. It's Egg. <laughs> I, I um, love Winger. <laughs> <laughs> and so. Yeah, I'll, um... Yeah, um... It's a okay. cat. <laughs> well... I can't open this door. Uh, the only thing that I'm able to activate is this, uh... speaker. This conversational thing. Uh, don't worry. It will... open when the time is right. Okay. That's wonderful. Um... um. All right. Well then, uh, I guess I'll I'll see you when the time's right. Uh, one more thing, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I have seen it. Uh, so therefore, I feel like I must. Uh, Sears armor. Hmm. It is somewhere aboard this ship. Okay. I. Check that off my list of, or I amend my list. Oh, space station. <laughs> a little station. bit of my to-do list. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's no. it's interesting because I see him putting it on as you leave. Okay. Good to know. Um, Unfortunately, I can't tell you where you found it. Yeah, it's probably in the evidence control unit somewhere. It's so. rather large. Yeah. Wait, his armor's large or the the unit is large? I mean, his armor was... I mean, you've seen I'm, Templar armor, right? No, I have I did not even know that... I kind of heard the name oh. and was like, they do... They're like secret police for the Empire who... Hunts dark. I don't know. I come from a farming place. Oh, I, I, I don't. I gotcha. never dealt with magic. Yeah, so you're not from it. Atroja or any of the core worlds. No, oh, I'm from a moon uh, around a gas giant. Oh, nice. Uh, well, you should feel right at home here. Yeah, a good pull. The pull is familiar. Well, uh,. When the time is right, get me out of here, which you will, so. Yeah, yeah. okay. How big is this, how big is Templar armor? Is it like a suit? Well, it... you know how he comes up to about here on me? Yeah, he's real, he's real small. It makes him actually taller than me, so it's. <laughs> okay. Does it make him. Tall as me. Eh, you know what? I'll just find it. I'll go <laughs> look for it. It'd be I'll, fine. Put it, I'll try it on too. I mean, I don't know. I <clears> if you could have them send me some more rations, I might be a little bit more um, malleable to show them the feature as he winks at you. Okay. Perfect. Then, uh, yeah, I will. I'll get onto that too. Um, so then, yeah, I think I'm going to go. Talk to my co-workers, maybe. And this might... I can do this in kind of like more of a... The montage thing. But I'm going to talk to Jer... What? Handwriting's terrible. Jera... Jern? Jern and Jean. Melia? Jean. Jean. Well, no, there was Jean. But then I also have two of my co-workers. Oh, uh... Malia like and... Uh, the other guy. Jera or Jern? Yep. Jern. Uh, it was Jarn. <laughs> Jarn. It was Jarn. I'm gonna write this down better. Court is adjourned. It's a problem yeah. with sci-fi names, you know, and fantasy names, and just names in general. I think uh, Windless has about four different variations in my notes. So, um, 
It's his is the most simple. It is a simple W Y N L A S. <laughs> so simple. And I think it's an adorable name. And you guys are so mean to Winless. Well, Could have <laughs> made him win more. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Uh. Yeah. Uh, Vesper, you are guided back to uh, a cell. Uh, it's not the cell that you knew as your cell. Um, you're in a different cell block now. Probably Where to. Am I? Uh, you went from one cell block to a different cell block. Why? Uh, we're doing this for your own protection. Um, after an altercation such as that, uh, you and your friends are being relocated to make sure that those things don't happen anymore. But it was the machine that took my arm off. In an altercation with other prisoners. But the machine's also getting a cell. Don't worry, we've we've, we've <laughs> begun to yeah exactly. Don't worry, we've begun to spread rumors that you're dangerous and shouldn't be messed with. Okay, well, let me just say. Before you have people operating those machines, you really need an instruction manual so that something like this doesn't happen again. Well, normally, we don't have fights breaking out in the manufacturing room. I still think that... Whatever. Think what Your you machines want. are stupid. Think what you want, prisoner. Uh, dumb. Don't worry, uh, we were able to make sure that you still got your own room. Um, Lovely. So. Longer privacy screen timer? Uh, actually, um, you have been given some extra amenities. As a condolences for and he gestures to your arm also if somebody loses an arm in prison you don't replace it that's just it they just stumpy yes typically um but you're a special special case and um in order to continue receiving the special treatment that you're going to be receiving uh, and he opens up the cell, and you see an actual like blanket, like it's 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 nice, um, and really the room in general feels a lot more uh, comfortable. Uh, in order to keep receiving such uh, wonderful amenities, um, we just ask that if your parents happen to come and visit, uh, you tell them that you lost your arm to an infection. I don't know if they'll be happy to hear that I lost my arm in an, with an infection. Well, we... You should have the drugs to fight that infection. Oh, we should, in fact. And it really is just such a bummer that we didn't. But a another large donation from your family could definitely rectify that and make sure that you're kept in great health. Well, I'll be sure to let them know, but I've not heard from them, so. Well, wonderful. I'll leave you to it. Uh, it is free time. Uh, don't stress your arm too much. At least for the next few days. It's still on the mend. Uh, Egg and Seer, uh, Samuel shows up uh, with transfer paperwork. Hey, did you hear the rumors? Hmm. Mesper is not to be messed with. <laughs> yeah. Yes, apparently she's capable of tearing a man in twain with just a mere thought. You heard that? I just heard she's not to be messed with. <laughs> yeah. Yes, um, that would lead one to the conclusion that she's not to be messed with. 
Oh, you're smart. Well, his brains. <laughs> He's our soft little clam brain boy. Now I have to look at your stats. Yeah, I guess brains is a way to describe you. All right. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> Transfer is complete. We are now scheduled to work at the docks. You're now scheduled to work at the docks. Also, you're being moved to a different cell block. Um, it's a little... Uh, it's a little, a little closer to the docks than the previous one than this one is. So, very good. good. Uh, but I just finished decorating. It's like gestures to like the the <laughs> side of the room where a hundred origami like humanoids have been fold carefully folded <laughs> out of <Wow>. napkins. <laughs> That's yeah. amazing. You do this, egg? That's alpha crash. That's beta crash. That's gamma crash. This one's here, and it picks up like the smallest one. Oh. It made his head big. Oh, adorable! So cute. Um, I'm quite partial to Seer. Yeah, well, Seer. Um... And look, I made a shell, and I just put like sandwich <laughs> paper around. <laughs> Speaking of your shell, uh, your armor is somewhere on this station, so I guess we'll try and. I'm thinking I'll try and get it uh, into a crate or something and have it be loaded onto one of the ships that we need to escape on. The idea of my regalia being forced into a crate is like scraping nails across a chalkboard, but if it needs to be done, it needs to be done. Right, how big is this armor? Is it like a normal suit, or do you become 20 feet tall and pilot it? I become as imposing as I need to for the job ahead. He but feels looking twenty tech- feet tall. That's what matters. <laughs> if you are looking for technical specifics, I stand eight feet tall when ensconced within the armor. Okay, okay. So yeah, pretty big. That's an extra three feet on top of Seer. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Boy's got platforms like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> yeah. A lot of leg on that armor. Got it. Um, okay. Don't, don't wear it. It'll be a big... Don't wear it. I Do not even, touch it. I wouldn't even think about it. I wasn't going to try. Hey, can I wear I it? You'll destroy it. No. No one may oh. wear it. <laughs> not only is it bonded to my ID code, so you physically could not, but it would sully the armor's integrity and spiritual purity. You're an ally, Samuel, so I'm letting you handle it. But do mm. not attempt to wear it. Okay. I won't attempt to wear it. I'm totally going to put a glove on, but, you know, maybe not the whole thing. <laughs> I can read your mind. <laughs> D- no, you... What? What? Really? It's true. Yesterday, he knew he knew I needed to pee before I did. How did. How could he read that in your mind if you didn't even know it? I don't it's know. It's amazing, <laughs> the signals that are sent. All right, well, why? Flashback to... Flashback to Seer, just like kind of looking over at Egg and Egg's just doing like the kind of like toddler, like kind of squirming pants, like Rusine. I don't. Did they Absolutely. make it go out soon? <laughs> <laughs> he has a shy bladder, and you guys have been co- cooped up in the same room for a week. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, well, what the? Um, apparently, uh, also. I ran into Winless. He's still around. And he says that we're all going to escape together. And he is predicting our future. And I think that's pretty cool. Honestly. Don't listen to a single thing he says. Okay, what? what is... why? Have what? I not described the danger that Winless poses? I mean, you now said that you know that he about... is an oracle... He can use that information to his advantage. He will tell you whatever he needs to say to survive, but he is a threat to our reality. Even listening to him could divert the strands of fate from where they are meant to lie and turn them into completely different realities. Okay. But at the end of the day, I mean, the chips have fallen where they fell. That is one way to look at it. So, the future... One way of... 
No. We go ahead. I'm simply saying this. I've expressed the danger that Windless poses. Mm -hmm. Contact with him at this point is a risk we should not take. Hold on. Did you say they were chips? (laughs) Yes, they've fallen somewhere behind the mattress. You should go look for them. (laughs) Oh, great. (laughs) Okay. Well, um, yeah, gather up your paper origamis, uh, your pillow, get your toothbrush, and we'll get you moved over uh, to the new... I don't see him! (laughs) Try under the right pillow! Um, you know what, uh, you know what, the chips, There's only uh, salt and vinegar. They're, they're, they're in the new room. I, oh. uh, I've never in the new room, so you, yeah, Con- that, there's a mix-up, there's confusion. So yeah, gather up all your origamis and, and stuff, and we'll, we'll, we'll head on over there. And, right. um, I won't put on the power armor, and I won't go and chat more with Windless. Two things he's probably going to absolutely do. <laughs> I think Sear just kind of gives a nod and then goes over to help Egg. And just like in total contrast to the rest of the brusque manner that he's treated Egg, I think he is very gingerly, like almost picking up the origami as if they were small sacred objects and depositing <laughs> each one neatly down Aww. into the box, and picking up another one and setting it down, just doing what he can to help. It's really hard not to grow close to your cellmate when, like, you're essentially in isolation together. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, just stuck. You're either going to go one of two ways. Either you're going to kill each other, or you're going to become best friends. So I'm surprised they haven't killed each other yet. <laughs> I, think I, take the, I think I take the seer origami figure, and as I'm about to put it away, I kind of stop it. Glance over it, egg. Lengthen the stride a little bit. Just kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> just make it, make it a little taller and set it away. Oh, gosh. Wonderful. Uh, as Bad you guys finish up uh, packing your... What little prison belongings you have. Uh, you are led through the hallways to a new cell block. Uh, identical to the one that you came from. Uh Really, the only thing that is different is the faces that you see uh, looking at each of you, giving nods of respect, uh, just like, uh, you know, it's not often somebody gets a transfer from one cell block to the other. And you are led to your cell, which again is basically identical uh, in every single way. Um, no special treatment for you. Uh, very thin sheet that they call a blanket. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, there you go, guys. Home away from home. <laughs> this is great accommodation, Samuel. You know, you're always looking out for us. I really appreciate it. Vesper, you friend. hear the familiar, fa- or familiar voices of Egg and Seer and Samuel. Uh, as you poke your head out the door and see that they are right next door to you. Oh boy. Is he quiet at night? No. <laughs> what, is that Vesper? Whoa, please, don't tear me in half. I won't mess with you. <laughs> I won't tear you in half, Egg. Thank you. Vesper, how are you? How do I look? Like you will endure, as we all must. That's great. Yeah. Well, um, I'm going to let you guys enjoy your reunion. I've got to go see a man about some extra food for a prisoner and a little bit Sir, of I've armor. I've got a yeah. question for you. Um, the the guard that dropped me off said that my parents are sending money to the prison. Have they been in touch? Oh, we just oh, lost fuck the case. 
<laughs> it's it's PK t- today too. All right, and you're back, back on stream. I'm back. Let's start back with the top of that question there. Yeah. <laughs> um, the guard that dropped me off at the cell said my parents are sending money to the prison. Have they been in touch? I haven't heard anything about money or your parents being in touch. I was given my orders uh, by my organization to infiltrate the prison and get you out of you're here. You're also technically, I guess, my bodyguard. Is that what you're classified as officially here? Yes. So wouldn't that mean that you would potentially get a notification if they tried to contact? I mean, that would make sense, so I can only assume that they are not trying to contact uh, us. I think Seer listening in on this wants to know if Samuel is lying. Um, I mean, you could definitely roll a uh, a check on that. Uh, Samuel, mm-hmm. you will not have to roll anything on this. Uh, but it's going to be an intellect and let's say difficulty three for this. And... Intellect. Nope, never mind. Yeah. You can't get a read on him. Uh, maybe he's just an excellent liar. You don't know. Am I correct as a player that he did know? Uh, he, d- he, he, as far as you know, don't know. You don't know. No. I know. I, I know. I know. Seer is. I know. Seer doesn't know. But I thought that there was a conversation of Samuel being told. Yeah, her parents have been. Oh, nothing about the money, her. but rather that uh, gotcha. they They're like possibly aware. will check up. Yeah. And that. All right, all right. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. You're good. You're player, good. Bra- player brain stuck in a rut. Yeah. <laughs> you nope. haven't. Um, you haven't had your family check on you either? That's terrible. I know the crashes are out there somewhere. Waiting to break me free. Did he forget we're breaking out? I guess so. Um, <laughs> I guess he did forget. Um, anyway, my orders currently, I have a uh, frequency that I'm supposed to radio in on once I escape and have you uh, safely away from here and then from there they're going to tell me where I need to go and who I'm supposed to meet but until that moment comes I don't know exactly who hired my group or uh, why particularly you are so important to my employers, I don't, to this prison. I mean, we've already had this this discussion. I don't, I don't think it was my my parents who would have done this. If I hired you. Yeah. Clearly, <laughs> um, I guess it's just I haven't heard from them since I was arrested. And you were in pretty regular communication and in, on good terms with your family before the arrest. Well, good terms is a little bit loose, but because I worked for the government, Mm -hmm. they funded all my projects. Your family did or the government did? Well, my parents were able to, you know. To route. Do the the senator's daughter pull strings here and there allow me to do the projects that I want to do. Okay. What were the projects? Yeah. Um, just research on planets. Into... Neat! Archaeology stuff! <laughs> oh, you're an archaeologist? <laughs> My favorite dinosaur is the Plesiosaurus. Every um... archaeologist listening just just curled up into a ball and screamed into a pillow. I have an anthropology degree. (laughs) (laughs) 
just me you, disturbing my own kind. And every yeah. pa- every paleontologist just rolled their eyes uh, yep. right out of their head. I'm over <laughs> here trying to understand how the hell anyone here knows about a dinosaur. <laughs> space dinosaurs of the space jurassic come on yeah of course yeah there's so many planets with so many with so many bones so many bones so many bones uh-huh. vesper yeah. you have found so many bones but you don't care about bones because that's not what you're looking for <laughs> yeah um are you are you looking for something in particular I was just, I mainly focused on older civilizations, just what they were doing. Now for Um, you guys, especially you, Seer, being, you know, pretty buddy-buddy with the government, hearing, focusing on older civilizations is a thing that uh, does not compute. The... Official stance of the Empire is... I just dropped my dice. Uh, that I don't even need. I don't even roll dice. It's a fidget toy <laughs> at this point. Uh, mind letter opener. The official stance from the Empire is that all intelligent life came from Atrosia. Uh, there are no older civilizations out there. There's been no evidence of older civilizations out there. As far as everybody knows, what the Empire says is completely true. Dear, can you believe it? Dinosaurs and ancient civilizations. You think the T-Rexes needed, like, arm lengtheners? Ooh, do they have mech suits that made them longer? Yes, like, maybe... (laughs) What like clams? Mm. I cannot speak to whether or not I've heard of such things. I know that were we in different positions, Vesper, I would most likely be interrogating you for such claims. But given the situation, I can only hope that your knowledge will prove useful in the days to come. Never understood the Empire's stance on the lack of civilization before them. Because on my ship, I've got an... I've got proof of older times in Atrosia. Like, I've got tons of it. Wild. Now, I mean, if they don't like my ship, I know the Empire doesn't like my ship, but... Oh, it's simple. Oh. You control the past, you control the future. If... I'm gift with the capacity to remove memory. And using that, I am able to influence conversations how I please and direct people down the bent that I wish. What the Empire does is very similar. Which is a very efficient tactic, all things considered. Mm. Given my... Given my job... Yeah. And what I was doing. Would I know why the church and the government and the empire would put out these statements? Like, would I know the, the reasonings um, specifically? All right. You have an inkling, or, or have always had an inkling, that the information given by the empire was just not true, just patently false. Because um, it doesn't make sense, right? You've been to so many habitable planets. You've experienced so many people. Um, None of them, of course, were aliens. But it's one of the reasons why you wanted to get into the work line of work that you got into. Uh, Most archaeologists just kind of hang out... uh, Going through the underground caverns of Atrosia itself, trying to, you know, piece together the past of Atrosia. But you, you specifically decided you were going to look elsewhere. Your parents, well, they funded it. 
uh, you're the child, and you know it's either that or they, you know, would distance themselves, and they didn't want to do that at the time. Um, it wasn't really until recently that you've been able to start piecing this together at all. Alpha Crash says, all life began with a big crash. <laughs> the big crash. What does Omega Crash say? Uh, uh, I, I think it started with somebody thinking. Hmm. Good. Wonderful. That's very smart. Good job, eh? Spontaneous generation, impossible. Well, regardless of all this, Samuel, if you could, if you hear anything, them, my parents, or even my siblings, try and contact. Yeah, it sounds like you're being held hostage here to keep your parents in line. So, curious what that really means overall. I'll keep an ear out for you, and I'll let you know what I find out. Um, Thank you. Just add it to the list of other things you'll look into. <laughs> <laughs> Write it down. It's just it's, it's got like sticky notes everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Really needs Check to get a remarkable. This. It's, it's crazy. Oh yeah, get a remarkable. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> um. Okay. Well. You guys seem all settled in. Um, anything else for me? I need to go and check on some things. I don't Popcorn? think I've had a decent meal in a week. You haven't had a decent meal? You have, you have been fed through a tube for the past week, so... Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, the mess hall is on my list of things to go to, so I will... I'll stop there. And, Perfect. Uh, Make sure you guys get food sent to you, as well as extra rations, or at least put in a request for extra rations for winless. Um, <laughs> <yeah>. Seer. Seer. <laughs> he asked for it. I mean, it was still, you know, Dave has requested it, and I also think that he's very useful and that your Templar craziness is crazy. And I'm like, I'm not worried about a guy predicting the future. It seems great to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's totally. Oh. Um, so... Yeah, I'm I'm trying to like kind of keep Winless around and keep him viable. And then I'd also go and investigate potentially getting the armor maneuvered into a better space for us. Absolutely. Uh as you head off uh Vesper Seer Egg, what do you guys do now that you're alone? I was thinking, if we save up parts of our foodstuffs and then allow them to ferment in a contained space, we can collect explosive gases. Then we can put it against the wall that adjoins our cells and enable an explosion using the napkins I've collected, allowing us to have a slumber party. <laughs> I think I th I think I I I enjoy my. Privacy, but thank you, Egg. No, it is a fair Do enough yourself. idea. I trust you, Egg, when it comes to explosives. That is one of the few, and I must say, few subjects, <laughs> and I cannot stress how few they are that I have complete confidence in you in. Thanks, Seer. <laughs> y'all, y'all make me blush. Oh. All right. Yeah. Samuel. Yeah. What are you checking on first? Um, I'd go do the food thing, but I don't think that really needs to be too much of something. Yeah. I feel like if see if if Winless gets his extra food cool, if not, it sucks, but at the same time I I did follow through and, and I put the request in for him. Yeah. Um absolutely. Do what um, you got to do. Yeah. But it's not it's not a priority that I'm like 
gonna fight for that specifically. But the armor is something that I do need to really uh, buckle down on first and try and I think I would I would approach wherever I th- I would first find out where stuff is kept, where prisoner belongings are kept. Yeah, and it's then fairly I fairly simple, to- uh, mm-hmm. you know, just kind of talking and stuff. You know, everybody knows. Oh yeah, it's, you know, it's keep everything in lockup. Don't really know why. I mean, why would they hold on to it? it yeah. seems silly. You could just jettison out the airlock, or just give it to us. Honestly. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. I don't. I. I mean, apparently this armor is crazy or something. Anyway, um, I'm gonna use the spin identity action, which cost me two in elect, but I can convince someone that. Uh, I can. Uh, uh, you convince all intelligent creatures who can see, hear, and understand you that you are someone or something other than who you actually are. You don't impersonate a specific individual known to the victim. Instead, you convince the victim that you are someone they do not know belonging to a certain category of people. Okay. And a few examples. Uh, a disguise is not necessary, but a good disguise will almost certainly be an asset to the role involved. If you attempt to convince more than one person, it increases the cost by one point. And creatures are fooled for an hour, or unless I really change it up. Okay. So, I think I'm going to go there and tell, kind of have my guard uniform on if I can, and tell them that uh, just I was sent from elsewhere in the prison to transfer stuff, transfer some of these materials off, like this Templar armor is wanted by the Empire, is being transferred off the station to be studied by the Empire, and better um there, there's there just some lie about how someone is in, uh, trying to study the Templar armor and needs to be transferred off the station. Oh, interesting. Another request for the armor, huh? That's uh, yeah. odd to get multiple requests. See, the Templars were talking about having to ship it back to them. Uh, really? It, yeah, well, they, um... they were talking about uh, how technically they can't use it until the user's dead, but uh, yeah, it's said it was safer going to be at the temp- Templar headquarters, but... Uh, uh, yeah, there's no harm for you to look at it first. Uh, well, it's not going to be shipped out until after the storm, anyway. Yeah, I don't know quite the pecking order of things, but my orders come from uh, the Senate, the Imperial Senate's uh, something, something fancy. <laughs> Crap. Oh man! I totally spaced on, a, on like any good words to use right there. Something, something fancy, deficient. Oh, right this way, sir. Yeah, yeah. No, um, the Imperial Senate's. Um, I, I just yeah, it's coming. It's it's an order passed by some committee in the Senate trying to better understand the Templars and how they operate. Hey, you don't got to convince me of anything, but like uh, you know, yeah. I I understand orders are orders. And uh, eh, do what you got to do. Uh, yeah, follow me. And you are led into this uh, large warehouse. I mean, it has to be a warehouse. It has to be almost like a wing of its own. Because mm-hmm. of the number of people who have uh, <laughs> come here and never left, um, it's a lot. It's a lot of stuff. Um, and uh, I'm going to give you a Game Master Intrusion... Uh, Samuel, you can go ahead and give an experience to anybody that isn't Vesper because she has too much. <laughs> I'm going to give it to... Wow. I'm going to give it to Seer because I know that me and his characters are butting heads right now. But I want want us to know that we're all still buddies. So you get an XP, Seer. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh. As you're led into this room and the lady turns to look at you and goes, so, you're uh, going to be the black market contact then? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, that's me. All right, good. Because, like, this solar storm is being a pain in the ass and uh, there is a lot of valuable goods in here. Uh, Mm -hmm. that could pad a lot of pockets. Um, Our last guy didn't quite make it. 
Mm. And, uh, well, I mean, we won't talk about that. Just be better than him. Yeah, that's no problem. We've already got a crew outfitting one of the ships to escape during the solar storm, so... Oof, we need stuff ballsy to move, out. but, uh, uh, you know what? I get it. Like, there's so much so much money on the line for this. I mean, mm. just this suit alone. Yeah. It's Ridiculous. Be but, um, so yeah, we've got, I've got the ship set aside. Is there anything you can do to help me get this stuff onto it or is there any, um, anything I need to worry about? Listen, you put in the right requisi- requisition forms. Mm-hmm. We can make sure it's moved. Thing is, things don't move quickly. Uh, but we can do the best that we can. Uh, we just got to cover up, you know, paper trail and mm-hmm. all that stuff. Uh, you know, leave a big empty box here. Make it look like the armor is still here. Nobody's going to come looking for it or looking at it. Uh, yeah. At least not for a while. So. I think we, we might need to work faster than that. Um, my understanding is that the Templars are after this armor as well now. And they're hoping to come and get in and get it. After yeah, the that could be quite tricky. Um, well, if the Templars want it, they're still going to be kind of uh, held up as well by these, these solar storms. Mm-hmm. What we can do is we'll, we'll follow through with the Templar paperwork. I'll fudge a few dates. And we'll just have it move to the docks. Okay, yeah. Right, it'll be in its box, it'll be in the lockbox. Uh, I don't have the code just yet. Mm-hmm. But uh, I'll, I'll make sure you have that before before you load up and take off. If, but remember, like, 20% cut. Yeah, yeah, 20% to you. No All right, problem. good. Uh, anything else you're looking for? Because, like... <laughs> Well, um, let's see, we probably could use a few, uh, any extra weapons to deal, uh, to sell off when we get out of here. Oof, weapons are a big, big, big hard, no, no. not gonna say it that way, big hard no, uh, it's, uh, unfortunately, all of the weapons here, they've yeah. tampered with, they got these tracking chips on them, they specifically want to avoid dealing in arms. Okay. Uh, yeah, they turn a blind eye to some things, but uh, you know it's. Well, yeah. Anything like okay, so no arms. Any um, tech, any computer tech that we could get out would be always valuable. Oh yeah. Um, stuff like that. Uh, any AIs yeah. or computer cores that might be. We might be able to. Uh, we'll, we'll leave a good old pile of stuff for you. Okay. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that'll be good enough. Uh. Um, Wonderful. Yeah. Um, well, I've, I've lingered too long. I should get out of here. Yeah, it's true. We don't want anybody to get suspicious. Yep. So, all right. Uh, all right. Remember, off. you didn't see anybody and talk to anybody today. Of course not. All Come right. On. I and... leave that room and immediately try and figure out who the hell that was and what black market stuff is happening because that is <laughs> I have no idea who that person is. <laughs> yeah, it is someone you've never met before, uh, which means that they probably specifically work in that warehouse and just that warehouse alone. Yeah, but the fact that they also have a black market contact kind of means that I don't want... Could be dangerous. Yeah, I don't want that person showing up because no. then that would put That's me fair. on blast. Yeah. Well, interesting. What would you like to do? <laughs> um, I, I, I've kind of done everything. I feel like um, I got my. The only other thing to be would be to check in and like see, try to investigate why Vesper is here. Like try and really, like go through like some of the intake records. Definitely. And understand this mystery because she's being I don't I feel like she's being held hostage for her to keep her parents in line for something and yeah um for this you're gonna basically do an investigation this is gonna be intelligence uh or intellect um 
It is... Now, can I do any recoveries at all? Oh, absolutely. You can always take your action recovery if you need to. All right, I'm going to do that. If you have an action to do it. I suppose I, I do. <laughs> you do. Uh, right. <laughs> your 10 minutes and stuff, like, there's nothing crazy going on. Yeah. Like, you know, if you if you stopped in the hallway for 10 minutes, you could stop in the hallway for 10 minutes. That yeah, goes the same for all of you guys while all of this stuff is going on. Uh, you can definitely <laughs> roll your recoveries if you've used up some of your stuff. Okay. Yeah, I take a, I take just a... I take my lunch break and have a have a re, re, regain my intellect points that I've been spending mm -hmm. all day. Absolutely, um, and yeah, yeah. Stuff that I'm going to be looking for is, I guess I, I know why it was for trespassing. I want to understand the planet that she was on and why it was quarantined. Yeah, absolutely. I, uh, before yeah. we tackle that, what we're going to do is I'm going to walk you guys through using your experience points real quick. Uh, oh, uh, Samuel, you're supposed to have two more than that. There you go. Now okay. you got them. Um, every four experience points that you get, you get to use on an advancement for your character. Uh, there are a number of, of advancements that you can take. Uh, let me pull up the Cypher Rules section of uh, our chat here, um, which is right here. Learn to play. And we just lost Brayden. <laughs> What a great time to lose him to. Let me bring him back in. Watch, I'm going to bring him back, and then he's going to go away. Then you're going to get kicked off. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. There he is. There we go. Show on stream. Hi. Oh. He's back. Uh, fantastic. Um, so what you do is you're going to take those four experience points, and you can spend them. So essentially, you mark them off your character sheet, uh, and you get to take an advancement of some sort. Uh, advancements include increasing your capabilities, which would give you uh, four pool points to divide amongst your pools. Um, you can move towards perfection, which is going to add an edge to one of your pools, and that will make using abilities for that pool cheaper, and of course, effort in that pool cheaper. Uh, you can use effort, you can take extra effort, so you can use more than one effort uh, per action because you'll have it uh instead of just being limited to the one effort that you have um you could learn a new skill if you would like uh i typically kind of push people away from that one because if you ask me we can make cheaper ways for you to learn skills um all of this is going to be edited out of the final recording by the way uh this is all for mm -hmm. your benefit uh this is how we train people and let them learn no how that is works. true that is how you teach other people how a cipher system works <laughs> um but uh the other options are you can pick up an ability from your type uh or a magic flavor if you would like um so that's an option. So say you're like, I wanted to take that ability, but these four were more important at the time. You can add one now uh, if you spend four experience points. Uh, let's see. Last bits. You can add a plus two to your recovery rolls permanently. Um, I always recommend taking that one at least for the first two tiers just because that extra four points to recovery is wonderful. Um, or you can take a, an ability from your focus. So if you have any questions about that, let me know. Um, I do suggest you keep a document uh, where you will be keeping all of your uh, planned advancements. So say you already have your tier two type warrior, speaker, explorer, whatever figured out. Uh, if you write those down ahead of time, when you get enough experience points, uh, to finally like finish out in advance uh, the, all four of the advancements, that is your next tier. So when the next tier is like where your next advancement's going to be, you, that you've already hit tier two, if that makes sense. Um, um, you sent like a website where it was like way easier to see the... Yep, it is. Uh, uh, let me grab that for you guys real quick. It is the best thing in the world uh, because... No, don't open up Obsidian. I don't need you right now. You're on my phone. Uh, <laughs> uh, it is called the Old Gus Cipher System. Uh, there it is. Um, CRSD. So, post this in the chat for you guys. Just because some you guys mentioned that you didn't really know much about the 
advancing, but 16 experience points, and then you have enough experience points to fill out all four of the advancements, and you can take them one at a time, you can take them at any point. The moment you have four experience points, you can spend them on that. So, um, just be thinking about that. You don't have to necessarily be thinking about it right now, but if you would like to be looking over it, uh, and it's not going to distract you too much, absolutely. Where were we? PK, you're on lunch. Samuel? Yeah. Uh, you're doing a quick rest beforehand. Um, things have been a little bit more quiet, Egg, Vesper, Seer, um, in this cell block. You've kind of begun to notice a bit that a lot of the prisoners in this cell block are of the elderly persuasion. Um, this is more of the retirement home of the prison. And, you know, there are a couple of younger faces, uh, but for the most part, it is, uh, well, yeah. (laughs) In fact, uh, you have a couple of older sweet ladies, uh, three of them. They all have a very similar tattoo on their neck um in their 70s approach and they go oh well it's not very often we get uh, young blood in here what are what are you in for big fella and they talk to egg obviously <laughs> i'll make a crash convicted terrorist oh. a pleasure uh if if I could blush, I would. Uh, <laughs> ah, all right. Uh, that's my We've line. Been... <laughs> ah. I think Seer comes up beside Egg and just hands behind his back like, all right, we've been through this routine before, so let's cut to the chase. We're here because we've killed several people and messed with any gang that tries to stop us. So get the word out amidst the fellow neighbors here that we are not people to be trifled with. Or else my friend, yes. Egg here, will snap you in half. I'll snap, wink. Oh. <laughs> He's flirty. <laughs> you will absolutely pound you into the dirt. Yes, I'll pound you, <laughs> wink. We will destroy you. <laughs> you just... <laughs> just <laughs> these, these boys are spoken for. Oh, well... If you need anything, we're kind of the welcoming party of this cell block. Uh, we're the well, the longest standing sisters here. Uh, Seer, you can roll. Actually, Egg and Seer, both of you can roll a a um, uh, intellect check on this. This is going to be a difficulty three. Um, not you, phone. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, this is to do what? Uh, to no, recognize to the uh, tattoo. Okay. Here. Difficulty three. It... Okay. Wow, I love your tattoo. It reminds me of something. Yeah, uh, it does remind you of something. It reminds you of an old story that the crashes have told you about of a very dangerous organization. Um, Probably one of the most effective terrorist organizations against the empire uh, in the past 50, 60 years. Um, They just kind of went by the sisters and everybody introduced was, a sister, right? They weren't all literally related by blood, um, but uh, as a group of ladies, they were uh, quite effective. Ah, you're part of the sisters. That's great. We almost got you in the softball game last time. <laughs> uh, they, she looks over at you and goes, oh, you've heard of us. Tell us, uh, Are they still active out there? Are their sisters still roaming around? Uh, 
Well, not lately. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't seen you all around in a while. Crash is kind of... We keep to ourselves. Ah, uh, Crash Clan. Interesting. Does explain why you are so handsome. <laughs> ah, <laughs> ah, y'all make me blush, sister. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> <laughs> Wink, indeed. Uh, you, young lady, have you ever considered joining up with the sisters? Oh, they're a great lot, lady? Vesper. Righteous. Aren't, aren't I part of your group, though? Egg. No, that's, it's, you know, we're friends, but we're talking about clans here, organizations. <sighs> you know, all these, all these clans gather together every year and have a softball match. You could join in next time. Well, not I here, of I'm, course. I think I'm good. Next yeah, she's spoken for. Planning on getting out of here? No, in here for life. Hmm. Us two. Wink. Well, no, no wink, egg. Oh, <laughs> wink. Well, you'd best get out of here before my friend reduces you to a quivering mass on the floor. Yes, <laughs> Damn it. you'll be a quivering mass. <laughs> <sighs> well. I don't know how much more I can take of this. We'll see you around. And they head off. <laughs> you know, I hear they're excellent at bridge. They're also excellent at getting thrown into prison. Was I saying something weird? Why did my threats not land with the intended effect? I don't know. You're very threatening. The most I've ever met, Seer. Except for Vesper. You don't want to mess with her. No, you really don't. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Samuel, anything else you'd like to look into? Yeah, it would just be that Vesper's information. Yeah, Vesper's arrest and stuff. I think that's all I want to get into. Uh, You get into uh, the computer and start kind of pulling up uh, files. All right. What exactly is it? Uh, what, What keywords, what searches are you looking for? And of course... More importantly, um, excuse me, uh, make an intellect roll for me as well. This is going to start at a tier three, uh, difficulty three. However, the better you do, the more information you will find. So I will do my intellect roll. Um, I'm, I have an inability in lower knowledge and understanding. I love looking at Samuel's inventory and it just says shank. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh my god, I don't know what else to put. Um, so, I'm going to do the lore knowledge understanding, which I'm untrained in. We're going to start it at a three. Oh, so it goes up to a four. So it goes up to a four. I'm going to add an effort to the roll. So it's at least so it's going back down to a three. But I also have the ability of understanding. Ah, my cat is on my keyboard and it's causing me problems. <laughs> I always hate it when that happens. Yeah. Uh, especially when I'm Googling important information All right, Jordy, about you get prisoners. Down for now. <clears throat> okay, so, um, but I also have this ability of understanding where I, it says creature or object and my next interaction with that object is. Yeah, so that would be kind of like, uh, you know, you learn to you know you, you learn from your failures you know yeah. you're uh you're kind of picking up skills as you go along and so you study an object long enough maybe you can figure it out uh you're kind of so already pretty good. versed in yeah. using a computer at this point i figured um, it might not work <laughs> <laughs> um but look at that and you did fairly decent uh yeah, i got up to a five vesper's parents are currently paying a large sum of money uh to keep her alive really not so much as a um like she's threatened but more so she's still family yeah even if guess- she's become the black sheep yeah, I guess I'm thinking and trying to figure out a what was the deal with the plane yeah. that she was on. That's a big thing. Yep. And 
Yeah, I guess are her parents being threatened? Yeah. So the planet is not named. Okay. But it does have the uh, essentially saying quarantined planet. Um, usually, you would assume that a quarantine planet would mean a planet that, you know, has some sort of contagion or other thing. But with your role being high enough, uh, it seems also likely that it could just be a planet of immense secrets. Uh, things that maybe... Maybe the Empire would prefer people not stumble upon. Yeah. Um, in fact, you kind of read the report and you find that it was uh, Aaron, or not Aaron's, it was Vesper's, uh, it was Vesper's ship that led to the discovery of the rebel, uh, like, insurgency hiding on the planet. Mm-hmm. Um Obviously, Vesper had no idea, um, but her going there and exploring on on her own um, raised some red flags uh, Mm -hmm. for the Empire. And uh, because of this, uh, they were able to root out uh, a large number of insurgents. Okay. Um, As far as are her parents being threatened... It does not seem so. In fact, it seems rather opposite. It seems the prison is being threatened quite heavily uh, by Vesper's parents. Um, Kind of a situation where it's, uh, it's, uh, hey, maybe you need my vote to continue to exist as a... uh, Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Lots gotcha. of threatening messages uh, from Papa Vesper. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think I've I, I got a better picture of what's what's going on then now. I think Frost. I Frost. Papa Frost. Papa Frost. <laughs> um. And, I, and then I, I will uh, go and hook back up with Vesper and say, um, kind of give her my understanding and explanation of what happened. I'll say. Uh, Hey, um, I looked into what's going on with your parents and everything. Uh, Apparently, your arrest is uh, relatively legitimate as far as the law goes. Um, Meaning, you were caught on a planet with, with terrorist cells on it, and... Um technically being in that proximity and such on that quarantined location was enough to warrant your arrest. Your parents Let aren't happy about that. say, though, hmm. I know my equipment was working. It wasn't quarantined. So they... Okay. So they lied about the condition of your arrest, then. And whether or, or not your parents know that. It's possible, uh, Samuel, mm-hmm. that the status of the planet was updated yeah. after the arrest. Which is essentially still them lying and fabricating this charge and entrapping you here on the planet. Either way, or and they entrap you and then get you arrested. I don't think your parents are happy about that. Clearly, um, I found many notes uh, from your father, Senator Frost, uh, demanding... He's not the senator. He's not the senator? No, my mother is. Oh. Well, then, I just saw Senator Frost. I didn't uh, know which one was which. We all need to re-examine our own biases from time to time. <laughs> Someone, uh, I, heard a, I heard a voice in my head say Papa Frost, and I assumed that... Well, the... The messages were coming from Papa Frost. Um, however, in an official Daddy capacity, does a whole other thing. <laughs> Daddy does a whole other thing uh, that involves a lot of uh, financier stuff, and you know, 
being a wealthy bitch, all that stuff. <laughs> well, some people pop a fro- some people pop a squat. He pops a frost. <laughs> That's right. At the end of the day, your family is not happy that you're arrested, but they don't have any legal means for your release, and so you're getting special treatment because they are exerting pressure on the prison. Can I insight check him? Yeah, absolutely. That's allowed. Everyone thinks I'm lying. (laughs) Which generally I might be, but I'm just confused. (laughs) He's trying to piece as much of the information together as he (laughs) possibly can. Poor guy. It's it's hard when everything is shrouded in secrecy. Yeah. So I just uh, he's just uh, listen. He's confused why he was hired, and then... <laughs> <laughs> he's got no idea what's going on. He's just been roped into this. Yeah, I mean, look, I got hired for my skills. Uh, I wasn't. I, I don't need to know everything. Difficulty three, if you want the insight on that. On intellect, right? Yeah, absolutely. All right. <laughs> and so. Um... Oh, fuck off. No one can tell whether I lie or not. And it's really <laughs> funny that this keeps happening uh, because it's just like, it's so inconsequential, but it is <laughs> yeah. so funny. Frustrating to fail. Uh, I mean, as far as you know, he's telling the truth, or at least he believes he's telling the truth, uh, <laughs> or at least he's really good at making you believe that he's telling the truth. Hard to read. Really, really, um, if anything, he's a hard to read guy. Would it, would it be possible for uh, Seer and Egg to uh, eavesdrop kind of on this conversation? Oh, 100%. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you guys are like literally could... one cell over. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering if we could spend uh, an XP on a player intrusion. Ooh. And do the, uh, Absolutely. Do the, con- do the convenient idea one as like Seer is listening in and like. He's a very good investigator. He's putting all the pieces together and like some through line appears in all of this that kind of manifests to him in kind of a eureka moment. Yeah. And you you're sitting there listening and you're hearing as Samuel kind of like stammers through this explanation. Um, you 100% uh, feel that he is rationalizing why he was hired. He's trying to piece it together. He's trying to figure this out. And you know for a fact he is as lost as Vesper is on this, apart from the messages that he read. Um, It's, yeah, it's, uh, he's trying his best. Samuel, if I could... I, I'm I'm guessing you looked this up on some computer, but you could have just asked me about what happened. Well, no, that's... I, I understand that. Um, my desire is to see what the Empire says happened as well. So it's a bit of, a bit of both right. there. Well, let me... Let me give you some information they probably didn't record. Okay. As said... <laughs> <laughs> As said, the planet wasn't quarantined when I landed. Mm-hmm. Um, when I came back to my ship, obviously the, there was some sort of fight going on. I guess there were rebels on the planet. I wasn't aware of this when I landed. Um, I was just going towards um, some ruins that I had found. Mm-hmm. Um there was a guard who pointed his gun at me, uh, was going to arrest me. However, a a message came through. A card that she knew. She went to college with the guy. (laughs) And he told me it was nothing personal and aimed to fire his gun at me. So I shot him in the hand to make him drop his gun so I could get away. However, once I was off the planet, I was caught. And I was thrown into 
some prison cell on Atroja, um, had no contact from my parents. The day of the trial, my brother shows up and tells me that I'm being made an example of for the rest of the nobility or higher ups or whoever. I haven't mm. spoken to my parents since. And then I was put here. Okay. Yeah. That's my understanding as well. As far as you being made an example of. But. Okay. Yeah. I'm lost. I don't get it. I don't Sam, you'll seem to be thing. uncomfortable with the idea of being used, but you must understand that you are being used, and the only thing that matters right now is getting us out of here. Oh, We're yeah, no, sneaky. I like... I li I'm perfectly fine. I understand that I'm hired, uh, I, and I am just a tool in this whole organization, and that's very fine with me. Um, I just... concerns me that there is no you have something there vesper you've got something in in your mind what do i, what do I have or on your ship or something but they you have something that this empire wants that's why they're holding on to you well they have my ship what do i have well then you've got something in your head I if suppose. I may. He says through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If we are if we are casting about for reasons as to what is going on, I might suggest this. Mm -hmm. Vesper, your parents and family were quite explicit with you. You're being put in prison as an example. A show that not anyone is above the law. Despite the fact that you are very clearly above the law and getting preferential treatment, it still matters that the story is you have been detained. Not even the daughter of a senator can escape the Empire's judgment. But these rebels, but they most likely right. hope to use you as an example as well. An example that anyone can defect. Who better to join their movement than someone so highly placed in imperial society. They will most likely attempt to recruit you upon breaking you out of here and attempt to use you as a figurehead for their movement. Well, see, my my conclusion was is I'm going to be held hostage by you guys and then held hostage by them. And, you know, I'm just to be passed around <laughs> the, et the eternal hostage <laughs> <laughs> yes you are going to have to seize control of this situation sooner rather than later if you don't wish to wind up like this which is why I think that upon breaking out of here we do not go directly to your employers Samuel nor do we go directly to any such source instead we take the time to figure out amongst ourselves what the next move is Clearly and rationally. Okay. Your employers, Samuel, are just as likely to pay you as they are to shoot you in the back of the head once you've delivered the package. Yeah, that's kind of trying to figure out if that's going to happen. It's a bit of some <laughs> why I'm asking these questions, I suppose. I've got to say, I'm case. pretty disappointed, Samuel. Mm hmm. You need to examine your internal biases. Anybody could be a senator. <laughs> okay. I don't think you can be a senator. <laughs> well, that's your assessment. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Ed, stop crowding the wall. I cannot speak to Vesper and Samuel <laughs> when you're pressing on me like this. You could just get on my shoulders. I cannot. They are too far off the ground. Can you please bear your knees? I'll pick you up. I'll pick all you right, up. All right. <laughs> I'm just going to pop my head out of my cell. Boys, do you want to come in here? I'll go and open their door so they can walk around. <laughs> come on, enjoy us. Yeah. Imagine you guys open up the door just like mid climb, like seriously. <laughs> like, like, on to egg like a um, spider monkey, but it's just like flailing his legs, just Absolutely. kicking in the air. Absolutely. 
All right, so I'm I'm down to not to to play it slow when we get out of here and not immediately hand over. I Vesper. thought you didn't care. Yeah, that was a week ago. If I may, I know somewhere we can go. Space Station C Rash. Home of the Crash Clan. <laughs> well, my first stop is going to be back to get my ship. But then, yeah. If that's if you think that if your clan has a safe space, I'd be willing to consider that a base of operations to make our next move from. Oh, I'm sure they are. And I'm yes, a very good judge of character. Agreeable. All right. All right. Hmm. The rest of the day goes off by without a hitch. Everything is good. Um, you know, it's much p- more peaceful in the geriatric uh, section of the prison. Um, only about half is no- like half of the number of shankings are happening. Uh, so you know, it's I have to it's, confiscate confiscate a few uh, sharpened walkers and such. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, they're yep, yep, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Um, Damn it, Janine! That's the third crib game this week. She's too good, this sister. <laughs> I love the props. He just keeps coming up with more and more props, and now he has <laughs> tiny just cards. I this man's yeah, stage like comedy. Yeah, it's very good. <laughs> it's, I love it. I'm, it's wonderful. It really is. Um, and eventually, you're taken to work detail and kind of shown around the. Uh, the cargo bay at the point in time, there's nothing quite in there. Um, and the supervisor of the area kind of looks at each of you and goes, uh, my name's Abarat. Uh, I don't really know why you're here, but, uh, if you could clean up, maybe do some organizational stuff. Uh, (laughs) <laughs> right uh, right in front of the camera <laughs> uh, game now. They, do, they do that but uh, the heavy lifting equipment's over here uh, you I heard you're a uh, Templar you might find this a little bit more interesting uh, and it's like this horrifying like Stone Age, in your opinion, mech suit uh, that is used for lifting. You know, it, it doesn't make you any taller. Uh, it's 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 just more about assisting you on the lift kind of thing. Uh, I think you can uh, figure your way around this uh, pretty easily. It will be like tying my ankles together, but at least now I can walk. Right. Awesome, and That's you. Pretty good. That was That's very good poetic. Metaphor. You pretty you boy. Always keep them coming, here. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. Are uh, you talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm talking to you. <laughs> I'm a pretty boy. <laughs> That's great. Um. But what? We need to reorganize some of the soon-to-be outgoing equipment over here. If you could, that would be wonderful. Just alphabetize it really uh, by size it helps for loading just you should be able to handle it and right. uh by size. i know my alphabet alpha beta gamma and so That's forth really perfect. perfect yeah wonderful uh <laughs> and uh you um you get to work the computer today um so it's you can uh direct this one where he needs to put things and well both of these ones where to put things and just kind of uh oversee things they told me that you have a new arm issue so and it just freezes it just freezes (laughs) Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, high. F- it goes in for a high no, five. No, no, oh, no. no okay. No, Sorry. No. Uh, I, I misunderstood what was going on there. I apologize. Yeah, clearly. If you need me, I will be in the office. Um, 
Say, before you go, my good fellow, which yes. of these crates contains the highly polished steel plating? Uh, so I can a load lot it of them properly. A lot of them. Uh, you got steel plating. Uh, you have. He looks at you. Uh, some electronical devices, <laughs> and uh, the various items. Yes, all of these things will be loaded up on the first cargo ship to uh, to come come through here. Absolutely. Great. There's no ship. Just there asking right now. for. Uh, uh, it's currently interest. not here. Uh, but it should be here tomorrow. Good. So. Good, good, good. Um, anyway, uh, see to it. And he just kind of walks into his office and locks the door. All right. And um, I'm going to say, all right, uh, Egg and Seer and I guess... Uh, Vesper as well, though I don't think you're going to be one moving these crates and helping set this part up as much. Here are the plates. Um, and I'll start to try and just kind of, I don't know, describe how we can... Where, like, look, I, well, I'm going to inspect the, the plate, the plating and stuff, and then try and come up with a plan for later, I guess. I don't need to explain anything. I think I'm just, I'm thinking I'm gathering info and learning at the moment. Yeah. Um... Vespers now would be a good chance for you to uh, try to look into anything that you would like to look into, as well as whatever Samuel has asked you to look into as well, because uh, you have unrestricted access uh, at the moment. Um, highly okay. responsible foreman of the Absolutely. warehouse, but it's whatever. Uh, well, probably the two things that I want to look into are uh, the, the solar flares. Um, and then two, I'm interested to see if they conducted a search of my ship and found the hard drive. Mm. Very good. Uh, and you probably want to know where your ship is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. That would be good to know, but yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, go ahead and make an intellect roll for me. We're going to do kind of a similar thing that we did with Samuel, uh, where this is going to be a tiered uh, uh, amount of information depending on how well you roll. So we're going to start off with a uh, we're going to start off with a two. Um, okay. Very good. Um, you see no mentions of a hard drive. Um, you do see that the ship is currently uh, being held uh, in a warehouse uh, owned by your father, uh, Anatrosia. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is quite... The atmosphere. Here, actually, I, I can I can add the atmosphere. Allow me to do this. We got scrapyard, <laughs> and uh, we specifically have uh, we've got stuff for this. We've got stuff. For I this. am making the mech noises, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> All to myself. It's helping me keep in the spirit of things. <laughs> uh, uh, while you're over there on the computer, can you print me out the schematic of the ship we're gonna be? We're gonna be loading. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I think like as Samuel comes, I'm just gonna quickly like close. Uh, that wasn't. I wasn't looking at that. It's not suspicious. What? No, I just need to. Uh, whatever you really have, it's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, schematic of the ship. Yeah, yeah, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I'm still on. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he muted himself. <laughs> and you guys all make noises. I was like, hey, I'm fun yeah. making the noises. This is great. <laughs> I 
totally, no, sorry. That's absolutely going living. in and staying in. Staying in. <laughs> Solar flares. <laughs> Vesper, you studied a lot of things when you went to the university uh, there on Atrosia. Um, yes, you focused mainly on the archaeological studies, um, but y- you took a lot of electives, too. With what you rolled, uh, you definitely do see that these solar flares are a bit more problematic than you or anyone here has been led to believe. Um, the rate at which the sun is uh, ejecting coronal masses uh, is increasing and not decreasing. You look at the trajectory of the station as it goes to orbit the tyrant. And more importantly, you see that tomorrow evening or early the following day the eye is going to be in the way of some of these expulsions Uh, will it be enough to destroy the station probably not not usually um but it could cause some issues for the station. This is possibly useful as communications will be down. But at the same time, there is always that possibility that um, it's worse than you expect. And that's where we're going to end. As Corb carries some things around and Sears over there uh, making the lightsaber noises. Oh, sorry. The laser sword noises. We're going to. I'm so embarrassed. I feel like when my parents caught me playing with swords, uh, like in the backyard, I would just be dancing and whipping <laughs> branches around. And <laughs> thank you so much for joining us for yet another episode of the Eye of the Tyrant. I'm DJ, and if you enjoyed what we're doing here, please consider checking out our Patreon for five dollars a month. You can see us learn to play new TTRPGs, and also you can check out our merch store uh, by going to One Shots Tavern dot com. See you next week.